Peter Ross, next on the agenda. Right, okay, yeah. Okay, a 12, size 12 again. So I'm just gonna change tying silk to a red or an orange, makes a difference. So, as I said, I think last week was uh, if you can use a tying silk, which is similar to the uh, seal's fur or body you're using. Just waxing your thread, Wax. Mark. Waxing that up, yeah. Yeah. So we're ready to go. The glass is there. So we're going to use a few fibres from the golden pheasant neck. Just taking a few of those out. Remember, don't pull them out. You want to get those fibres aligned. So the black tip remains as one. And I'm just going to put that in two turns, like so. I'm going to tie in some silver wire or oval, makes a difference. Slightly under there. And we're looking for silver tinsel. Now, the reason magnets, I think, right? the reason why I put the wire on first is because we are winding the, the wire up the body underneath the fly and if anything is going to pull out it's more likely to be the tinsel so by putting the wire on first you haven't got to undo the wire to get to the tinsel to tie that back in if you know what I mean so we're just going to wind that up halfway off and we'll do exactly what we did with the Alexandra we'll just put probably two turns of tinsel in and then we'll that off. And what we're going to do now is to put some red seal spur on to make the second half of the body. I'm just going to take a few few fibers and just scrunch them up into a little ball, breaks them down a bit. And then spin them on to the cloth. The wax helps them stick to the, the floss. And what we're going to do is wind 
one turn on and what I tend to do is go back a little bit just to get the proportion right. Like so, just take that off and just put one turn or two turns in just to hold it in, in place. Now, what we have to do now is to put the ribbon, and what we're aiming for is with the silver wire, I put one turn in the middle of the body, but the next turn wants to be right in the middle of the join. And what I do is just pull the seals fur back towards the head so you don't get any bits caught in it. And then one turn right the way through the middle of the seals fur and then tie it off. Like so. And what you can do is just, just pull it out a little bit. It used to be the fashion where the body tied with seals for was clipped very short and neat and whatever. But uh, I think most people tend to have a, a scruffier looking, more open pattern. So that's the body. We'll take another black pen hackle. Uh, Jay, so I've put some small red hackles in there. If yes. maybe use a, a red one, they'd be the right size. Sorry, I should have uh, topped you up with some black. No, that's a good. Okay. Again, stroke those fibers, apple fibers back, and Squash the tip of the hackle down. It sits nice and easy. Right, the wing. We're going to use teal feathers. Now, ordinarily, what we would do is use a matched pair, something like this, but they are very expensive and very difficult to get hold of. So to tie a Peter Ross, I would take a section from the left like that and match that up and tie that in. But as I say, they're very difficult to get hold of and expensive. So what I prefer to use, if you buy a bag of teal feathers, you will have a lot of feathers like, like this. And what we'll do is just stroke them back to about that, that amount and fold them over.
so they lie in the plane. Just, uh, would you mind just doing that again, Mark? The folding was just out of shot. Uh, okay, sorry. Please. Okay. So what I've got here is a feather, which I'm just going to fold over and pull. I'll try another feather because I've played around with that one. Yeah, there's another feather. I'm just going to pull it so it sits in. And that is as good as using a paired set of feathers. Um, I can't, I just cut that off. What a lovely looking feather that is, like a zebra on the back. Yeah. Um, I, I've give, given, um, sorry, Mark, I'll let you finish that. I was going to say, I've given Jason uh, a few teal feathers there um, yeah. out of the bag. Would you, would you mind showing an example of a, a well-marked one like you've just used and a poor one that Jason yeah. shouldn't use? Because there'll be a mix in there, Jason. There'll be some good oh, ones. Oh, no, I've got some. I can see some decent ones there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've got a bag behind me. And, I mean, apart from... These I've just pulled out as being large flank. I mean, you, you'll find feathers like these, which can still be used on the smaller flies, but the, the marking is nowhere near as pronounced. So that was one not to use that, that slightly, it was slightly a dull, the black yeah, you, wasn't you, you, as... Strong. In a in a bag of feathers, you have to go through them and sort out the the wheat from the chaff by by all means. But um, if I just where's my bag? Ooh. Some examples of feathers you wouldn't use. I mean, that's obviously discolored, very pale markings. The, the ones which have a sort of darker base to them, you wouldn't use. Um, and feathers like that, obviously, are, are no good. So you need to go through and pick out well marked black rather than brown bars on them yeah, things like that which, which are no good it's a bit it's a bit like a well marked grizzle hackle except in in wing yeah. form to a point is it mark would you say yeah, I'm oh. sorry, I've, I've just found a, another feather here. That's called a summer duck. Oh. That's used for salmon flies. What it's doing in the bag of teal, I've no idea. But uh, <laughs> <there we go. laughs> Nice marks. Sorry, Will, you were saying? I was saying it's, it's, it's a bit like grizzle hacker. You can pick out the well-marked grizzle, black and, and white. Yeah. Yeah, and you yeah. get much stronger contrast. I think that's the key there, is that that strong black and that strong white, and you're looking for that contrast there. That's right. Yeah, yeah, looking like that. Oh yeah. Wow. 
you could probably get away with tying if you could match up a pair you could probably get away with tying that as a a match pair wing I, I yeah. like it folded down the center there. I think it's nice and it's not so much hassle. And that's quite a, th looks like quite a thin fibered feather to be pairing up. I'd get the heebie jeebies. Uh, yeah. What we're aiming for is those feathers to sit on top of the uh, wing, the, the body without splaying out one side or the other. Difficult to show in profile. In the best way. Yeah. So it's sitting on top of the body, not deviating from one side to the other. Easier said than done, as I found out, and I still do. Yeah. Nice. So we will start off for the second time, Peter Ross. Just winding that thread down the body. So again, we'll take the golden pheasant feather, I'll just turn it over and snip out about four or five fe um, fibres, don't go mad on it, and the idea is that we're going to put those in alignment, that one behaves, in with a few turns. So, as I say, we'll start off the body with the silver wire. It's two turns to hold that in place. And we'll place it underneath. Now going to take the silver tinsel and so nick out of it and just tie that in. Just wind the thread up the body. Notice the feather is on the top, the wire is on the bottom.
pinch of red seal is fur. Squash. So I tend to just put one or two turns in and then go backwards just to make sure I've got a uh, clean edge. Secret with seals for is not to put too much on. Yeah. I'm holding the steals for away from the tinsel because what I'm trying to do is to put the tinsel the, the wire between the two bodies Just give it a little bit of a spread fold. So Okay. Everybody happy? Yep. Yep. Okay, yep. Good, good. Nice combinations in that fly, that tinsel and that red and very fishy. Anyone ever fish one of these? No. no. How old's the pattern, Mark? It's a... Uh... Oh, I... It, it was named after or by or tied by somebody who was a Scottish postman by oh. the name of Peter Ross. <laughs> so, but as to its age, I've no idea. I mean, the initial original pattern was a teal and red so it just had a, a, a red seals for the body and Mr. Peter Ross decided to put a silver body with it as well so that's why it became mm -hmm. the Peter Ross I'm just going to take a, a little teal feather Wash it down. Mm. 
Was, was the hook helping you break it over either side there, Mark? When Sorry, you, Will? When you put it over the back of the hook just to get it to the half of the feather either side, was the hook helping you as you put it over the back there instead of doing it in your hands? So you're using the hook to kind of split it even. Yeah, what, what I'm going to do is I've tied it in place, but what I'm going to do is just pull it through the silk so it tightens up and straightens. Oh, okay. So I'm using the weight of the bobbin holder to straighten it up. There you go. Sometimes they, they twist in all directions. You've just got to use what you've, you've got really, but... Uh, And just tie that off there. So what we should have is a wing virtually straight over the, the back. Just wait it. Could you manipulate a little bit at this stage if it wasn't quite the ticket? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 that's one thing I was going to look at. If it's twisted to one side, again, just sort of twist it over one way or the other. You've still got a little bit of leeway. Um, Before you put the varnish on. That's right, yeah. Nice. Play around with it. Yeah. That, you know, combination, I think, of red and black works very well. Um, it's a nice little fly, but um, I'm just going to put up a few alternatives. This is one I particularly like. It's that uh, wrong one. Sorry. It's got a claret seals for body. Just a little bit darker looking. I like that, yeah. Um, let's put another one up. That's in a slightly bigger size. And one which I particularly like is tied with a pearl body. And, and a badger hackle at the front there. And a badger hackle, yeah. I'm just trying it's, to pull that it, over. It looks gold, actually, that, that pearl that comes across. Yeah, as gold. it does. It comes over as, as pearl, but um, that's with a red seal's fur. That's with an orange seal's fur and a badger hackle. Tied in front. A really nice looking pattern, actually. And, and um, for, again, the still water anglers and um, we, uh, Peter's not here this evening, but he would have been interested in this pattern because uh, it does imitate the duck fly, Mark, you were saying. That's right, yeah. Again, you know, corib and mask, something like a, a small Peter Ross really looks like a, an emerging uh, duck fly and does very well early, early season. That's on a 16, the one you're holding up. That's a 16, yeah. 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 Let's see if I have a look at the, uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. Anyone want to display anything, Jason, for example? 
Come right here. Oh, Slightly nice. different because I don't have black, but I've gone black seal for. Yeah. With the red yeah, that's fine. Still. Yeah. You've done this yeah. before, Jason. <laughs> Long time ago. That would be my best effort tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing that. No trouble. How are you getting on, Mark? I just got to finish this one off and I should be right. Okay. Michael? Uh, just tying the head, just tying down the head. Moment. It's not great. Oh, it's okay. I need, to, I need to do, I've not tied this before. It's an interesting one. The duck's a bit tricky. The duck, um, <laughs> the duck you know, the duck wing. Is, or, well, not the duck wing, the teal wing. I'm actually using duck. See it? Yeah, lovely. Uh, let's have a look, Michael. I'll just pin you. Nice. Good, good. Needs a bit of work. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a bit crap, but yeah. You know. That's okay. I, I like the idea, though. Mm -hmm. I, I very much like that pattern, Mark. I think that'll be a good one for the old sea crowd. Good, good. It's a bit skew way, but hey, it's, I need to work on it a bit. That look good to me, Michael. As I, as I say, you know, both these patterns are a bit like sort of Marmite. I mean, there are people who, you know, would never, ever fish a Peter Ross. But, um, you know, there's, there's people, even uh, Rob Denson, in, you know, who writes in Trojan Salmon, he loves the Peter Ross. You know, it, it um, has got that sort of midgy look about it, you know. Midgy. I'm sure that's what they take them for. Midge. Yeah, mi midge. Midge, yeah, in the smaller sizes. Really? Yeah. But it doesn't look anything a midge, does it? Well, well there's a pattern called a zebra midge, Michael. I don't know if you've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Small, small Peter Ross. Really? Zebra, God. zebra midge. Well, interesting. I never heard of that one. Okay, but yeah. I, I, I just my ignorance, but. When I was in fishing for midges, I'd make these tiny, tiny little 20 size flies with, you know, no, almost no body in a little, tiny little badger hackle. And, and actually, I attach on a glass, glass crystal bead to them. I find that helps too, <laughs> to get the sheen, you know, the mm. light. And, and that worked for me, but I never heard of this one. I'll certainly try, try that. Yeah. Certainly very, very popular on, on mask and corridor early, early doors, you know, for the, uh, the duck fly. But for midges, like hatching midges. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in the air, I mean, on the water. Wow, never heard of that, gosh. 